Okay. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Okay, so seated, hip width apart. See where your feet are, that they are hip width apart. And grounding down, grab behind your thighs, and then just lift your spine up. Press your sits bones down and feel how your booty bones are pushing into the mat. And then you're just lengthening up and feel your abs already start to engage. Keeping them engaged, relax your shoulders away from your ears. And then tuck your pelvis to roll halfway back. So just rounding your spine, pull your pubic bone towards your face and feel your abs activate here. And then lift and sit up tall. And then rounding back halfway and coming up to sit. One more time like that. Round back halfway, hold, and then take the right arm above your head and bringing it back down. And then left, lift, and back down. And then if you don't want that fingertip touch behind your thigh, you can just keep your arms forward. So you don't have to hold the back of your leg. And maybe if you feel like you're starting to feel really secure in that position, you go back a little bit further. One more each way, starting to just Acknowledge that the transverse abdominus is there, bring the arms back forward, and then roll yourself all the way down to the mat. Inhale, once you get down, exhale, and roll back up to that halfway point. Holding it there. This time, lift the right foot one little inch up off the mat, and lower, and left. So you barely see my leg lifting. It's almost like there's a string from my knee up to the ceiling. And that string is just levitating the leg one little tiny inch up off the mat. It's one unit lifting and it's coming from those strong abdominal muscles. Let's do one more each way. Try to relax the shoulders away from the ears and then come up to sit. Inhale, exhale, roll back halfway. And both arms now lift above the head like you're lifting a beach ball above you and then dragging it back forward. Lifting the beach ball above you and bringing it back forward. Lift the beach ball up above your head, send the shoulders away from your ears, go back a tiny inch, come up a tiny inch. Back a tiny inch, up a tiny inch. One more time, back a tiny inch, up, and then take it back, 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 and all the way down to the mat. Inhale, exhale, roll up to your halfway point. Holding here. Both legs are gonna hover an inch, and then the heels tap and lift. And tiny lift. And lift from your low belly. Lift up your pelvic floor one more time. And then lower everything down to the mat. Lengthen the arms and legs. Ooh, that one eye, my abs are feeling awake on that. Inhale and exhale. Let's peel yourself up, 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 and over the big beach ball on your lap, reaching forward, scoop and roll it down. We're gonna do two more like that. Inhale, exhale, peeling up, 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 reaching forward. And scoop and rolling it all the way back down. Next time, we'll stay at the top. Up, 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 and take a dive over your legs. Taking a little stretch. And grab your band, and we're going to come into our stretch. Hooking it around your right foot. Roll all the way down, band or ringer, towel, anything that you have just to give yourself the stretch. So anything that can give you some light support. Letting your pelvis just melt down into the mat. And breathe here for a moment. And then maybe you can start to bend and straighten the leg. Keep reaching the right sits bone to the front, holding it here, and maybe come back a little bit further. And back a little bit further. And two more breaths to get a little bit deeper and deeper into that stretch. And then let's hook it on to your toes. Pull your toes down, push your heel up. Coming into the calf stretch. And you're gonna point and flex, and point and flex. And one more time, holding the toes down, breathe into your calf, and then back to the center of the foot, spiraling the thigh, Open and out to the side for your inner thigh stretch. Keep anchoring your left hip down, reaching out of your right heel, right inner thigh, and feel that opening through the pelvis. So not letting the leg just fall over and out, you're still actively stretching here. So 
take one more breath here. And extending that leg up to the sky and a little bit across the body to stretch to the side of the hip. So you're anchoring that back pocket into the mat and letting the leg come just a little bit across. Last breath here. And then melting into the spinal twist. So you're looking in the opposite direction while well, that leg just falls any amount across the body. And then extending that right leg out to straight, feeling how amazing it feels. And then grabbing your bands, draw your elbows in and rolling up. Up, up and over. Hi, Naya. And then roll all the way down. And then let's breathe into the back of the leg. So your pelvis is anchoring you down. And ooh, this hamstring is feeling a little extra tight for me today. And you can start to bend and straighten the leg. So you get a little loosening and lengthening. Shoulders are relaxed. Breathing into the back of the leg. Take a couple more breaths here, finding a little more length. And we'll release that, hooking it to the toes. We are calf stretch, pulling the toes down, pushing the heel up. So remember, the leg doesn't have to be straight now. We want to get it not so it's just stretching the hamstring. We want to let that go and you want to work on uh, loosening up your calf. So anywhere that's available, point and flex. And holding the toes down, heel up. And then back to the center of the foot, spiraling the thigh, open it out to the side of your inner thigh stretch. Keep anchoring your right hip down to the mat, lengthening out of that left inner thigh, pushing through your heel. Shoulders are relaxed into the mat. Take one more breath here. And we'll sweep the leg up to the sky, anchor the back pocket down with the leg from a little bit across the body to stretch the side of the hip. So try not to let your right, left back pocket leave the mat. So your pelvis is even and it's just coming a little bit across. And then on your next breath, we'll melt into a spinal twist as the leg falls across the body, looking in the opposite direction. And then that leg will go all the way back up to straight, shaking it out. So the legs are long and loose. And now the abs can really turn on, bend the knees, bring the feet to the mat. And a couple times just to arch and imprint your spine to loosen up any tension in your low back and then find your pelvis coming into its neutral alignment with that little bit of lumbar curve under your back, hip bones in line with your pubic bone, softening the front ribs into the body, anchoring your back bottom ribs down into the mat and the shoulders just relax. We'll bring the right leg into tabletop. Feel how you can start to lift up your pelvic floor and tightening in your transverse abdominis to support you left leg up to meet it. So just even right here, can you find all that activation in your deep abdominal muscles? Can you let your shoulders relax, your neck be long, and your jaw soft? And now begin marching your right toe forward and lift. Left leg forward and lift. Dipping the toes to the front edge of the mat. As the leg goes forward, you're not letting your spine move. How still can you keep your spine as your leg moves away from the body? Shoulders relaxed. Pressing the back of the skull into the mat. Lift out of your pelvic floor. Last one like that each way. And then we'll go a little faster. We're gonna go switch and switch and switch. So adding the speed is the challenge to control. Last one, bring it back up and give the knees a quick little hug and place the feet back to the mat, hands to the sky. Inhale, exhale. So head, neck and shoulders up, reaching your hands towards your heels. Then pump a little extra inch and lower all the way back down. Inhale, exhale, lifting head, neck and shoulders, reaching for just an extra inch. 
and lower all the way back down. Inhale, exhale, lift and hold, and then little reaches forward, reaching towards your heels. Reach forward and forward. Draw the abs in, keeping the pelvis still. Three. And last one, extending the arms all the way back to the inside the ears, and then press your hands forward. Reaching the arms back, keep your pelvis still, and press forward, taking the arms back alongside the ears in small little lifts. Lift, pulse up, up, for five, four, three, two, and last one, lowering everything back down, bring your hands behind your head, elbows wide to the side, so fingertip touch behind the ears. Floating the right leg to table, float the left leg up to meet it. Draw the abs in, keeping yourself in neutral, float the head, neck, and shoulders up, you're going to dip the legs forward halfway and drag the legs back up. Dip forward halfway and lift. If this feels stressful on the neck, put your head on the mat and put your arms by your sides. But if you feel like you want some more challenge, as the legs go halfway, lower the head to the mat and then lift the head, neck, and shoulders as you drag your legs back up. Lower, exhale, lift. Tap it down, exhale. Four. So as you open your body apart, are you staying in neutral? It's really easy to arch your spine. It's that control that you want, so you're not going into that arch. Last one, lift and hold. Allow the legs to go halfway forward again. Keep the feet super glued. Open the knees and close. Open and close. Three, for five, soften the jaw. Three, and last one, bring the legs back up, hug the knees in, and relax everything down. Allow your head to rock side to side. Let go of any tension that's in your neck. Bring it back to center. Let's bring the legs to tabletop, arms firm down into the mat. Extend the legs up to the sky, point the toes. Draw the abs in super tight. You're gonna spiral the thighs open so you're in external rotation. And then scissor the legs are going to go crossing right ankle over left, left ankle over right, right ankle over left. Open as wide as the mat. Quickly close the legs with the left thigh on top now. And then we go switch, switch, and open. Switch, switch. So these three switches to the top, and then you open the legs. Each time the legs come in, the opposite leg is on top. Think more about the inner thighs being what's crossing, not just the ankles. So the inner thighs feet one over the other. And then notice how those abs are working extra to keep you still here. Can your shoulders relax? Maybe you can take that down a little bit. So you go a little bit lower. So it's not just up to the sky. So now it's giving a little more work for the abs. But if you want to just continue to focus on the inner thigh aspect of it, keep the legs up to the sky. We're going to do one more round like that. So once you're even with both sides, let's keep the legs up to the sky. Keep firming the, the arms and into that pelvis on wide and a micro lift to the hips, tiny and lower. So you want to try to keep your eyes to the sky, keep the pelvis just lifting one inch up off the mat, hover it and lower. For three, two, one more time. And bring the legs right back to tabletop. Bring the hands behind the head. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders, glue the heels, turn the toes apart, press the legs out, push the inner thighs together, and drag it back into quad legs. Press out, squeeze inner thighs, and drag it back in. Press, squeeze, and in. So you also could do this with your head on the mat. The head doesn't have to be up. Your choice, press out, squeeze, and in, lengthen, and in. One more time, lengthen, bring them in, hug everything in, and relax. Take the thighs and circle the knees and the hip sockets, let go of any tension. My right hip flexor loves to always give a little extra problem for me, so you gotta, I gotta really focus on the core to keep out of the hip flexor, reversing your circle. And then bringing it back to center, bring the legs to the table, reach the hands to the sky, inhale, exhale, press your hands towards your hips, and push your legs away at a high diagonal and bring everything back in. Inhale, exhale, press. On the next one, lift and hold it for the hundreds. 
Lift and hold, lengthen those legs and start to beat the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. So your legs can stay in parallel here. They could be up to the sky, they could be low. You could also be in turnout. Where do you feel like it's best? If it's in your back, you could also be with tabletop legs. So you stay where you feel like your abs are most activated here. Inhale, big. Keep widening through the collarbone, reaching your armpits towards your hips. Two more sets. Inhale, lift out of that pelvic floor. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, drag the legs back up to the sky. Hug everything in and relax it down here. Take a one long stretch, reaching arms and legs super long. It's getting toasty in here, so I have to take off my sweatshirt. Find all that length in the spine, and then we're gonna reach the hands up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, peel yourself up, 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 up. Take a quick dive forward, take a little stretch there. And then sitting up nice and tall, separate the legs just as wide as the mat. So it's not a huge V position, it's just as wide as your mat. Sitting up tall, lengthening the arms out. Press those sits bones down that we found at the beginning of class and lift. Imagine, don't move your arms, but imagine I came with my arms underneath you and then it lifted you a little bit taller. Slide the shoulder blades away from the ears. You're gonna twist your rib cage. Don't let your legs move. Twist over to the right. Twist, 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 twist. Once you twist as far as you can, now take the left pinky finger, reach to the right pinky toe, turn your right palm to the sky, reach a little bit, and then re-step. Isn't that cute? And then bring it back to center. You hear all that extra noise out there. <laughs> it's like when you twist, 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 twist over the left. Once you've spiraled out your rib cage, now dive pinky finger, pinky toe, and restack the spine and bringing it all the way to center. Sit up taller, twisting to the right a little bit further. Twist, 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 dive, reaching forward, keep the pelvis in place, reset the spine, unravel to center. Twist, reach, restack, unravel. One more time. Twist to the right, reach. Restack using those abs, relax the shoulders, twist, reach all of that to center, lowering the arms down, bring your hands behind you, bring the legs together, and then walk the feet any amount towards your body away, wherever you feel like it's going to be best for your body for the tricep. So further away is going to be more challenging, closer is going to give you a little more support. Fingertip to, uh, towards your hips, widen the collarbone, tuck your pelvis, draw your abs in, and then lift yourself up. So you're in a slight top pelvis position, your abs are active, shift your weight backwards, bend your elbows halfway and straighten. So the only reason your booty is coming down is because your elbows are bending to take you closer to the mat and straightening. You wanna make sure this is in your triceps. So your elbows are going to the back and then straighten. Bend, straighten. Long neck. On the next one, let's go halfway hold. Take it down a micro inch, come up a tiny inch. Take it down, take it tiny up. Tiny down, tiny up. Down and lift. Tiny down and hold and tiny presses. Press, 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 press for five. Long neck. And last one, straighten up, bring the booty down. Take a quick stretch across, both arms and across. And then we bring the heels towards the bum, fingertip touch to the ankles. Sitting up tall to start, so you find those sits bones pressing down, and then you tuck your pelvis and move just back from the sits bones and lift your heels. You're in your round position now, so you're gonna roll like a ball. Roll to your shoulder blades, come up and balance on your sits bones. Roll to your shoulder blades and come up and balance on your sits bones. So the heels are super glued together. Your credit card is stuck in between your heels and your heels are close to your body. You don't want to let them fly away. Two more. Exhale. One more time. Exhale, lift and hold legs to table. Hands behind the thighs and lift yourself up or your shoulder blades down. Extend the legs up to the sky. Pull the legs into right for a minute. Draw the abs in, lift the legs up, point those toes, get longer, longer, longer. Take your hands off. And then tabletop the legs. Roll your spine down into your shoulder blades. Touch the mat. Your pelvis comes into neutral. Extend the left leg long for a single leg stretch. And we go switch and switch. Switch. Drawing the belly in. Soft with the jaw. 
The pelvis stays still as the legs are giving you the challenge. And you're seeing your belly pull away from your gaze. Because if your head is lifted, you're not looking down at your stomach, but you have a gaze towards it. Because you've got the line between your chin and your chest. Breath three. Breathe. Two. And last one each way. Bring both legs in. Give the knees a hug. And let your head relax. Let your head rock side to side. And then bring everything back to center, reaching the hands up to the sky. So head, neck, and shoulders up. Reach just past your knees. Extend the arms and legs long. Circle to bring the arms towards the legs. Legs back and table. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, circle, bring it to center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale. For three. Two. Last one, lengthen and hold, 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 hold. Now we open wide and in, open like a sand angel or like a jumping jack for three, breathe, two. Last one, bring it to center, circle it in and relax everything down. Draw circles on the ceiling with your nose and reverse it. And legs to table. Reaching the hands back up to the sky. Slide the shoulders away from the ears, firm the uh, ribs down into the body, draw your belly and make sure you're in neutral. It's going to lace the sky as you lift your head, neck, and shoulders, extend your left leg long, grab gently behind your right thigh, give a little double pull, scissor the legs, pull. Inhale, maybe it's behind the thigh, maybe it's behind the calf, maybe it's to the ankle. Maybe you even just reach your hands forward and rely only on your abs to pull the leg in. It's a double pulse. Exhale as you scissor the legs. Inhale. Exhale as you scissor. Inhale when a leg is up. Exhale as you scissor. Pull, pull. For three. And then we have our challenge because it's my new favorite thing to do. And last one each way. We keep the right leg extended up. Left leg extended long. Grab behind your right thigh as you pull yourself all the way up to sit. Left leg stays there or it melts to the floor. And then walk your hands down your leg. All the way down, rolling all the way up. So you have the support of your hands and your leg. Or if you don't want your hands there, you can just roll yourself right up, catching your left hand to the outside of the right ankle. Right hand twists and sweeps the back. Your right hand is just going with your rib cage, really, and bring it back to center. Your rib cage is what's rotating as your pelvis stays still. One more time. Twist, bring it back to center, and then switch legs. You guys ready for the next one? Let's just walk down. It's super controlled. You got it. No big deal, because this is what we do in normal life, right? We just climb, but it is. You know, sometimes we're reaching in weird positions. Maybe hands, maybe no hands. Pull all the way up, and then grab. And then you twist. And you twist. One more time, following the eyes to the fingers. Bring it back to center, both legs are up. We found ourselves here again. Draw the abs in, let the legs come as wide as the pelvis. So not huge V, but a little V. Open leg rocker as we roll to the shoulder blades and come right back up and balance. Roll to the shoulder blades, come back up and balance. One more time, shoulder blades, come back up and balance and hold legs together. We're gonna bring the hands behind the thighs, Lift yourself up. Come onto your forearms. Circle the legs over to the right. They draw a circle down, around, up, and holding it at the top. Over to the left. If you decide your legs could be in tabletop here, they don't have to be straight. We're going to do two more each way. You just circle with control. Down, down, down. Pull the legs up. Lift up out of your neck. So you're not sinking into your shoulders. You just have one more each way, friends. It's so easy. You got this. It's so not easy, but it's so doable. Last one. The legs come all the way back up. We're going to roll up and catch our ankles. Do you feel like we just did like a gymnastics thing? Like we jumped up to that next level bar? Woo. Okay. We're just going to roll down. We're going to take the hands off and we're going to control, control, control as we go all the way down and then we're going to rest. Plug it in. You deserve a little mini moment to regroup to come into double straight leg lower. Yeah, I felt like that was like the uneven 
parallel bars or whatever that is, where we had to like roll right back up and get to that next bar. And you guys did it. Okay, bring your feet back down just for a moment to regroup into our neutral. Re-engage the abs and bring the legs to the table. Fingertip touch behind the ears. Elbows are wide to the sides. Feel how nice and open your chest and collarbone are right now. Maintain that as you exhale to lift the head, neck, and shoulders and shoot the legs up to the sky. Legs can stay in parallel or in turnout. And then you just lengthen your legs out to your point of control and float the legs back up. Your pelvis is still lengthened and that cup of espresso is balancing on your low pelvis. So if your hips did a jump, the espresso would spill, but you're not trying to spill any espresso here. Lengthen and float it up. Inhale and exhale. If it's hurting your neck, you put your head down. Three, two, lose. Pull those legs back up. Last one. And drag it all the way out and hug it all the way in and relax. Breathe, rock your back into the mat, whatever's gonna help you regroup to let go of any tension, to reset your body to come into this, uh, crisscross here. So legs are back at table, hands behind the ears, floating the head, neck, and shoulders back up. Nice and the left leg long and twist to bring the left shoulder in the direction of the right knee and rotate to center. We go twist and center. Think shoulder to knee, crossing the body. So you could bring your elbow over, but see how much further you get when you're thinking about your shoulder coming over. You get way more rotation in the rib cage. For four, exhale as you twist, wringing out that wet washcloth. Three, two, keep the pelvis as still as you can. Last one each way, you twist and center and twist and bring it to center and roll down and relax. Taking a long stretch here. Like someone's pulling you apart from either side. Shake everything out, get longer, let go of any tension. Take one more breath there. And then we'll firm back the thighs down. Reach the hands up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, peeling yourself up, 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 and over that big imaginary balloon. Take a dive forward, take a stretch there. And then we're gonna uh, grab your weights, but we're gonna come into bridging. So if you don't want the weights, you don't have them, no problem. And it's just to add a little challenge and then we'll go into our arms. But we'll add a little arm moment in our bridging if you want them. But if you ever don't feel stable, you know that you just put the weights down. Send the arms forward, send the shoulders away from the ears. Roll back halfway. Actually, before we go into our bridge, we're going to just take the right arm up, slide the shoulder length away from the ear, and then bring it to center. So the palms are facing down. You just lift and center. Go back another inch. Take the arm up. Arm up. One more inch back. Lift. Pull the abs in. And lift. Now both arms are going to go up. It's a little different with both arms. We lift. Pull the abs in. One more time. Lengthen up. Drag it forward. Roll all the way down to the mat. Arms are up to the sky, right over the shoulders. Palms are facing the front. Walk the feet back to a position where it's a, you're good to set up, set up for bridging. So if you're hip width apart, knees are hip width apart. So everything is staying even in your lower half. Wide through the collarbone, tuck your pelvis and peel your hips up into your bridge. Lifting your hips up to the sky, draw the abs in, engage the glutes. Sequentially press your spine back down into the mat. Inhaling at the bottom, exhale, rolling all the way up. Squeeze the glutes, hug the thighs slightly, and sequentially all the way down. And roll all the way up and hold the up here. So you can keep the weights, you can put your weights down. Tap your butt to the mat, press up, squeeze the glutes. Tap down, press up, squeeze. Down, up, squeeze. Collarbone is wide. So with no arms on the floor, you have to rely on your abs more for your stability. Hold the hips high, let your elbows bend to come out to the sides and do a chest press right over your chest. So over the, rib, the base and the bottom of the ribs. Lower, press up. So we're gonna combine the arms now with the hip drop. 
So the arms go wide, the booty goes down, press everything up, everything lower, press lift. Down, press up, squeeze. Lift. With control, using the abs, grounding your feet into the mat. So feel the energy from the feet through the back of the legs all the way up into the bum. And then feel how those abs are staying and strong to support you. Hold this one all the way up and then just pulse the hips to the sky. Press up, up. You're going to turn the palms towards each other for five, four, three, two. Hold it up, lift your heels. So you're balancing now on the toes. Make sure the big toe mouse pressing down the pinky toe. Palms are facing each other. Tap your butt down to the mat, press up, squeeze. Lower, press up, squeeze and hold. Down, up, squeeze. So you get that hold at the top. Make sure there's no tension in your neck. You want your eyes to the sky so there's freedom in your neck. We don't want to put any undue, unneeded pressure into your cervical spine. Hold this one all the way up. Arms open like they're opening out in a rounded position and then right back up. So it's our hugging a tree position with a slight bend in the elbow. You have the ball in your hand and then you open the arms away from the ball and close in on the ball. Now, as the arms open, add your booty drop. You go down, lift, lower, lift, squeeze. You at the top, really firm up the bump. Down, up, squeeze. So you're really still using your abs to help stabilize this whole situation. Neck is long, jaw is soft. Hold this one all the way up. Push the hips up just a little bit higher and now pulse the hips to the sky. Press up. Press your big toe mound down. Inner thighs are also engaged to help keep your legs hip width apart for five. Last one, hold it. Just hold the hips. Push up a little bit higher, hold. A little bit higher, hold. Keep that. Bring the arms back just a couple inches. Bend your elbows to tap the weights behind your head and press up. Bend the elbows and straighten. But your hips are as high as they can. Your booty is just on fire right now. Bend, extend, and bend, extend for five. Squeeze. Long neck. Pull the abs in. Push the hips higher. And last one, holding it all the way up. Drop your heels. Walk the feet to the outside edges of the mat. Push your hips a little bit higher and pull your pubic bones slightly to your face. Dig the heels down. Lift your toes up. You're going to tap the butt down, press up, squeeze. Tap down, press up, squeeze. The arms are just staying up for this one. Tap down, up, squeeze. Now, as you come up, squeeze, tap the knees in, squeeze the thighs, open the legs, tap your butt down. Press up, squeeze the glutes, tapping the thighs in, open and down. So we're moving with control. We're keeping the fire in the bum the whole time. There's not really a moment where it's getting to relax. Press up, squeeze. You just want to feel all that goodness. Squeeze, in, open. Keep the thighs open, pulse the hips to the sky. Press up, up, up. For five, four, three, two, last one. Drop the feet, walk the feet back to hip width apart. I don't know about you guys, but my butt feels like it wants to cramp. Bend your elbows so your elbows are on the mat now. Your palms are still facing each other. You can also bring your arms all the way down, bringing your right leg into tabletop and then place it back on the mat. Left leg into table and place it on the mat. So moving with control, marching a leg up and down. You're not letting the hips drop. You're keeping them so still here. The next time the right leg is in table, it's going to stay. Hold it here. Push the hips higher. Draw the abs in. Extend the right leg out straight to touch the wall in front of you and drag it back in. Lengthen and in. Push out and in. Push out. The next one, holding it out. Push the hips a little bit higher. Lift the right leg to the sky. Now press up. Up. Little pulses up to the sky. Long neck for five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Place the foot on the mat with control. Minimal movement in the pelvis. Push your hips up to the sky. Let's bring the left leg to table, collarbone wide. Extend the leg out straight and drag it in. So really lengthening and moving with purpose. Lengthen and, and remember, if you want your arms all the way on the mat, feel free to do that as well. The next time the left leg goes out, it stays out. Keep the leg to the sky and we pulse the hips up, up. 
a little lift. Pressing that right big toe mound down into the mat, the, left, the right pinky toe as well for three, two, last one, place that foot on the mat. Hips push up one extra inch and little presses to the sky, press up. So your feet are just planted into the mat, collarbone is wide, booty's on fire for five, four, three, two, and last one. Sequentially rolling your spine all the way down into the mat so your tailbone comes down walk your feet one inch forward push your arms up to the sky roll yourself up onto your sits bones and turn the palms to the sky bend and extend we'll stretch out the bum in a minute don't worry bend extend three breathe two last one hold the arms out extend the legs out onto the mat Turn the palms towards each other. You're still rolled halfway back. Bend the right elbow. Bend the left elbow. Bend right and left. As you bend, you're sliding your shoulder blade away from your ear. You feel also the movement can come from your back as well, from your lats, not like it's in your low back. You're, you're supported through your center. Last one, each way. Both arms forward, turn the palms down and dive forward, take a stretch. Sitting up tall, send the arms behind you, widen your collarbone and shift your weight slightly forward. Palms are facing each other and little presses in, in. Little press in, collarbone wide, holding them in and now lift up, up. Three, four, five, four, three, two, and last one, bring the weights back forward, place the weights down and meet on your left side. Going all the way down, and you can have your head all the way out, propped up. Where do you feel like it's best for you? Let's bring the legs one little micro inch forward, lifting the top leg in line with the hip. Feel like someone's pulling your leg an inch out of the hip socket, and then sweep the leg forward in line with the hip point, press and squeeze it back. Flex to bring it forward point and sweep it back. So your movement's as big as your pelvis can stay still. Your hand can be on your hip, it could be on the kickstand, or it could be on the mat for a kickstand. Actually, you could make a kickstand if you put your weight there and just balance your hand on it. So that would also take away some stability. The next one stays all the way back. Hold, point the toes. Keep lengthening, but the leg is back behind the body and now pulse is back, pulse. So you're still got that booty cheek fired up for five. Last one, back to center, spiraling the thigh up to the sky, lift the leg, flex to drag and pull it down. So you wanna make sure it's externally rotated, otherwise you're not gonna have a lot of range of motion. It lengthens up, flex and pull. Lift, flex and pull. Lift and hold, spiral the thigh open and drawing our circles to the sky. Long leg opening out of that hip socket and then reverse. Shoulders relax away from the ears and hold, flex the foot. Let the leg come to right in front of the hip, it holds. And then it drags back up to the sky. You bring it right in front of the hip and then lift it right back up to the sky. So it gets that moment of just holding to the front and then lift back up. Bring it forward and hold it and a little tiny bend straight in, bend straight in. Press, push through the heel, press for five. From your booty and last one, hold and hover and then bend the knee, let it come all the way to the mat. Bottom leg, flex the foot, it lifts and lower. Keep that leg coming straight out of the hip. You're one long line with that bottom leg lift so maybe you need to bring it back a little bit because we did have it a touch forward so you want to have one long line you're on your balance beam i hope everyone has watched the serpent at the end of class i need to hear what everyone believes hold this one all the way up point the toes and tiny pulses up <coughs> excuse me little tiny lips jaw the abs in throw your bottom waist line still lifting up off the mat hold it Little circles stirring up and around and up and around. And then reverse. 
And last one, bring that leg all the way down. Knees at 45 degrees for your clamshells. Push the top hip away, open and close. So the abs are still working. This isn't let abs just relax. They are 100% in the action here because all day long, our abs are in the action when we're not just focusing on doing an ab exercise. They're supporting us walking around all day. So we want them to work when it's not just their focus. Hold it up and tiny pauses up. We want them thinking about you even when you're not talking about them. They need to be in action always for three, Two less, one rotation, knee to knee, toe to ankle, knee to knee, toe to ankle. So the rotation happens inside of the hip socket. And last one here, let's bring that leg down, bring the knees to 90 degrees. So they're lined up with the front edge of the mat, flex to the feet, push the top hip away, and then sweep the leg open and it almost touches down. Sweep open and almost touch it down. So moving from the hip joint, poke your bum back just a little bit so you make sure you're in neutral. There's no extra movement, just the leg is lift and lower. Make sure you flex the feet so you've got that activation through the posterior chain of the body here. Bring it down, hold right in front of the hip, push your bum back and tiny circles. Should we go right into our clamshell, or I'm sorry, into our pretzel friends right after this? Yay, okay, reverse. I'm assuming that's what everyone wants. Hold, keep the leg as is. Prop yourself up and push that leg backwards. So now you're just lining up your sternum with the front edge of that left knee. Push the leg back behind you and then little kick back, kick. Imagine that your heel could touch your booty. You're trying to kick your bum. Draw the abs in, keep the spine long, holding it back, and then just push the thigh to the sky. We lift, lift, lift. Draw the abs in for five, four, three, two, last one. Swing that leg all the way around and you magically end up on your other side. And let's set up, bring the legs a micro inch to the front and you're on your balance beam here. Make sure the hips are stacked. Lift the top leg, flex the foot. Someone's pulling your leg right out of the hip socket as you sweep the leg forward, point and sweep it back. Flex to bring it forward, point to sweep it back. So still coordinating with your breath, trying to keep one line that you just continually retrace. Forward, point sweep. And hold this leg all the way back. Get longer, push it back a little further, and little pulses back. Draw the abs in. And then bring it back to center, sprout the thigh to the sky as you lift, flex and pull. Lift up, flex and dragging it down. So you want that external rotation of the leg so you can get the freedom in the hip. The next one stays to the sky, spiral the thigh open and draw circles to the ceiling. And breathe. And reverse it. Hold it there, flex the foot. Let the leg come down right in line with the hip and dragging it back up to the sky from the outside of your booty and lift. Forward and lift. And then this one's gonna come forward and hold. In tiny bend straight and press, press. Keep the heel right in line with your hip. Push the bum back for five, four, three, two, hold. And then bend and let that leg come all the way down. <clears throat> Bring the bottom leg back a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me, flex the foot and lift and lower and lift and lower. Draw the abs in. So the ribs are wrapping into the body, the belly is pulling in your bottom waistline, still is activating up off of the mat. You're pushing your top hip away. You lift, hold and down, lift, hold and down, lift, hold, point the toes, pulses up, up, up. 
the other day I met this girl who just got a job to go to Antarctica for 14 months and follow penguins, hold it in just circles. How cool is, how freezing is that really? But I was, I'm so fascinated by the whole situation. And reverse. Keep that thigh up, get the inner thigh firing, and then lower all the way down. Bend both knees to 45 degrees, push the top hip away. Open the top knee for your clamshell and lower. So your heels are in line with your tailbone. You push your top hip away from you. Draw the abs in. Make sure the upper body is relaxed as well. So you don't want to have any tension in your neck and shoulders. And then hold this one up. Ab rotation, we go knee to knee, toe to ankle. Knee to knee, toe to ankle. So the rotation is happening in the hip socket. Draw the abs in, keep pushing the top hip away for four. Two, last one, the leg comes all the way down. The knees come to 90 degrees. Push the top hip away, push your bum back just slightly, and then flex the foot as you lift the leg as far as you can, and then almost touch down. It lifts and then pressing it almost to touch the thigh as it comes down. It's like it wants to touch the bottom leg, but it's opposing magnets, so it can't. So it's got that energy, and then it goes right back up. On the next one, let's come down halfway, hold, and we draw circles, stirring it around and around. Drawing the abs in and reverse. And then hold the leg there as you prop yourself back up into our pretzel position. So you shift the weight back and have your sternum lining up with that right knee. And then little kick back, kick, kick. Get the knee up a little bit higher, draw the abs in, get longer out of your spine, like it's a piece of elastic getting pulled out of your pelvis, hold it back and then just pulse the thigh to the sky, we lift, lift, lift. For five. And last one, bring it back forward and find yourself laying on your belly on the mat. Holding your forearms together and melt everything down and shake your pelvis out. Draw the abs in, feel your hip bones and pubic bone press down into the mat. Bend your knees, flex the feet, push your heels together and let the knees be just as wide as the pelvis. So not wide, but they're not close together either. Upper body relax, and then we lift the thighs and lower. Lift and lower. So upper body is completely relaxed into the mat. Abs are the first thing that engages. You pull your belly button up, and then you lift the thighs. Engage the bone. See if you can let the shoulders just melt. Hold the thighs all the way up, and tiny pulses up. Or five. And last one, you're going to lay long on the mat and shake the pelvis out. Extending the arms long to the front. Slide the shoulder blades away from the ears. Draw the abs in, connect your pubic bone and hip points into the mat as you float your arms and legs up off of the mat. And then start to swim it out. Little flutter kicks. So your bum is fired up, so your glutes are helping you here to support you. The arms, you're gonna plug the shoulders away from the ears. The neck lengthens for five, four, three, two, and last one, lower everything down. Gently press yourself to a child's pose. Let the knees be wide and push the hips back. And take a breath up, reaching the arms long to the front. Inhale. Exhale, you're going to roll yourself up onto your hands and knees. Knees under your pelvis, hands underneath your shoulders, rounding into your cat. Head up, tail up into your cow. And one more time, into your cat. And into your cow. And all the way into neutral. As you extend your right arm and your left leg at the same time. Relaxing the right foot. And bring it back to center, left arm, right leg. You lengthen and in. And extend and in. 
One more each way. <coughs> Last one. And bring everything to center. You're gonna come onto your forearms. Step your left toes back. Step your right toes back. You're in your forearm plank for a moment. We're gonna take the right leg, tap it out to the right side of the mat and bring it to center. Tap left, center. Pelvis stays still. So you're just taking the leg out and center. Pulling the abs up into your spine. Three, breathe. Two, last one each way. Bringing it back to center, come to your knees, press back to the toes, close. Take a breath there. This time we'll walk the hands over to the right. Take a stretch to the left side body. And back to center over to the left, taking a stretch to your right side body. Breathing into that space between the ribs, expanding your lung. And bringing it back to center, rolling back up onto hands and knees. This time, kneel. We're going to go into our plank. Are you ready? I didn't really I am. This that was happening. Okay, so we're going to set up hands underneath your shoulders. And if you prefer, you can be on your forearms. Otherwise, we'll come up under the hands. Let's come back into our strong plank position. And Neil is on for our story. Okay. Um Valerie Jarrett was a thin, light-skinned, beautifully dressed African-American woman with an impressive grasp of how Chicago functioned, headaches and all. She offered me a job as an assistant to the mayor. My salary would be $60,000, half of what I was currently making. She told me I should take time to think about the career switch. I'd never held government in high regard. My grandparents lived through the, the horrors of Jim Crow in the Deep South, and mistrusted government of any sort. My father had a government job, but he had been conscripted into service as a precinct captain just to be considered for promotions. He loved the socializing, but he hated the cronyism. When, ja when, when Valerie called a few days later to follow up, I told her I was still thinking it over. But then I asked what she must have thought was a very strange question. Could I also introduce you to my fiance? Three, Two, one. Down hard up. And take a breath there. You can run the knees out. Let's take one stretch. Let's take the right leg up to the sky, then you open the hip to the little stretch to the right side. And then square the hips, step the right foot through the hands, rotate your right hand up to the step, up to the sky, take a stretch here. Bring that hand back down to the mat, step back to your plank, take the downward dog. As you take your left leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip, take a stretch. And square the hips, step the left foot through, step, take your left hand up to the sky. And then bring that hand down to that. Step your right foot forward. Micro bend the knees or any amount actually. And then you start to straighten out the legs and let your head hang, let your arms hang, you just sway. And take a breath. And let everything go. See that your fingers are up. This was in between your feet. Soften the bend of the knee. Draw your abs in and start to roll your spine up. So standing longer, taller, and stronger than before you came into class. All the way to your head comes all the way up. Shoulders relax. We'll take a nice big inhale up. And exhale. Thank you for coming to class, Pilates hotties. Nice work. How's everybody feeling? Thank you so much.